So finding your way to seated cross-legged down on your mat. Remember if seated cross-legged doesn't feel right for you any day, then just don't take it. Take whatever pose feels okay. Because for the start of the practice, we're just starting to become grounded, starting to move into the breath, into this present moment. Before we really get grounded into the present moment, I'll give you a little talk through about what to expect from our practice today. So in our practice today, we're gonna to see if we can connect with um, the emotion of joy. We did a little bit of that uh, in the previous session. We'll see if we can connect with that emotion. And that emotion, sometimes we feel it in the throat, sometimes we feel it in the mind, sometimes we feel it uh, through the body where the breath moves. And so towards the end of the practice, we're going to connect with that. But as we begin to connect with that, we're going to really use our breath to connect down to the earth, to connect to our physical body. So a really strong emphasis on the breath today. And we'll start that first by just closing our eyes, back of your hands resting down on your knees and noticing what your breath is doing now. So don't try and change it anyway. Just notice the way your breath is moving your body the way your body is moving your breath. Is that circular relationship there? We draw in, we press out. And within all of this, there are little spaces in between. And sometimes we're given lots of talk about how our breath should be, whether our breath is too shallow or too this or too that. And so as you notice the rhythm of your breath, just know that your, the rhythm of your breath is fine just as it is. So just let it be and notice it. It's an expression of you, your breath. It's moving with the rhythm of your body. And so as we move through the practice today, we will have um, a few sequences that we'll do a few times so that you can connect with your breath rather than my breath. But because in our practice we do contain and control our breath, we can match our breath with other people's. And so now we're gonna to start to control our breath a little. We're gonna breathe through the nose and we're gonna notice that our body rises with our inhale or expands maybe is better for you. And draws back in again with the exhale. So noticing that pattern of your breath. Noticing the way that your breath is moving your body. And that your body is moving your breath. Noticing now as you inhale through your nose that you can feel the sensation of the outside air on your nostrils or on the end of your nose. And as you exhale out of your nose, you notice that you've warmed that breath to your body temperature. So it feels a little different. So again, now we have that circular motion of drawing in from the earth and then pressing a little bit of ourselves back out towards the earth. And so we find that deep connection with nature. As we find that connection to the earth, find that physical connection to the earth. So as you continue with this pattern of breath, ground down into your sit bones, whatever is connected with the floor, and feel this gentle rising up and away from that. Notice your tendencies. Is your tendency to collapse your head forwards a little? Is it to expand your belly out and collapse through your low back? Is it to round your low back? Notice that tendency. And then see if you can rise up nice and long, little squeezing in of your belly as you lift up through the spine and find that thing. So I'm taking hold of the crown of your head, a little tuft of hair there, and drawing you out long. Notice. Now we're gonna get that pace of breath. So with your next inhale, inhale. Notice the pause. And then exhale. Notice the pause and then inhale. Notice the pause and then exhale. Notice the pause and then inhale. Place a little restriction on that breath at the base of your throat so that it has that oceanic sound. Notice the pause and breathe. Notice the pause and breathe. 
continuing with that pattern of your breath with the oceanic sound, so you sound a little bit like the ocean. And in this breath, in this breath, everything is good. So remain present within this breath. Here within your practice, within your body, down on your mat. Let's take a stretch towards the ceiling on an inhale, stretching those fingers out nice and wide, reaching them towards the ceiling. And again, notice, have you collapsed through your low back a little? Remain strong, little drawing in. You have your belly button to support you here. Can you draw those hands a little further back? Is that quite limited? Right, it's all good. We're going to press those palms out towards the sides of our mat. Fingertips draw back towards each other and then let's glide them down towards the floor. Touch your fingers lightly down on the ground. Step them back a little. Roll open through your shoulders. Lift your sternum. Lift your gaze. Coming into a gentle little back bend. In this gentle little back bend, noticing your breath. And noticing that you can pick your belly up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you can squeeze upwards through that belly. That you can create a little lock, a little bandha through the um, pelvic floor and lift there. And then let's come back. We're going to come on over to hands and knees and we're going to counter that little back bend with cat pose. Let's take that on the exhale. So on your next exhale, Boiling into cat, pressing down into the hands, and with your next inhale, rising up into cow. So we're going to take that a few more times in time with your breath. Exhale, coil into cat, lifting that belly button towards the spine, grounded down into the hands. Inhale, rolling towards cow pose, lifting your gaze just a little. Exhale, coiling back up. Keep moving in time with your breath, but your breath is that slow, controlled rhythm. That's it. And notice that because the back of your head is a curve of your spine in this practice, and notice that you're just moving your head as far as you think that back bend is moving. Right, you're just dropping your gaze as far as you think that coil is happening through your spine. So you're really honoring the movement of your spine with your head. <laughs> yeah, it's not moving too separately, it's moving in time with the rest of your moving body. Now as you next inhale, take a pause in hands and knees pose. Let's stay here for a breath so that we can all be quite uni united in our movements. And then we're going to inhale, reach our left hand and our right leg. Now from here we're going to touch those left fingers and those right toes down to the ground. Yeah, but outstretch, that's it. Press that right heel away a little and tuck those toes under. Feel that nice stretch down the back of your calf. We're going to keep that right leg just how it is, but we're going to see if we can lift that left arm. And then we're going to pop it back down again. Let's take that movement twice more. We're going to inhale, we're going to lift our arm, lift arm. And we're going to exhale and we're just going to touch those fingers lightly back down. One more time, we're going to inhale, we're going to reach that left arm. And then we're going to exhale, touch those fingers back down. Let's bring that hand underneath the shoulder, right knee back down underneath the sit bone. Wait for the breath. With the next inhale, reach your right arm and your left leg. Finding yourself in this pose, this length through your arm and your leg. And then we're going to touch our fingertips and our left toe down but draw that left toe under a little so you find a nice stretch down the back of your left leg notice that stretch it is a good one yeah nice and grounded down into your left hand and then from here we're going to take that movement again movement of three so we're going to inhale and we're going to reach that right arm up and then we're going to exhale and we're going to just slowly glide it back down and touch those fingers to the ground we're going to inhale, we're going to glide that right arm up. Yeah, really squeeze it up. We're going to exhale, we're going to lower those right fingers down to the ground. One more time. We're going to inhale, we're going to lift that right arm up. 
We're going to exhale those right fingers back down to the ground. Now bring that hand back down under the shoulder, the left knee back down under the sit bone. That's it. Let's take some circles with our hips. So we're rolling our hips around in circles. Just enjoying the movement of our pelvis. Now often we start to move quite rigid through the pelvis, not enjoying the swaying of the hips. Let's really get those hips moving and then roll them around in the other direction. Now even through this movement, press down into your hands and keep your arms nice and strong. Yeah, avoiding any locking of your elbows. Let's take a little pause here. We're going to tuck our toes, lift our hips, and press back into downward facing dog. Now, in your downward facing dog, have your fingers really pressing down on the floor so that the fingers are spread. You've got that space between your fingers, grounding down. Soften your shoulders back a little so that they're not shrugging towards your ears. And engage your belly. Right, so that we've got strength here, we've got a stable base, and at any time if your arms start to feel sore in the joints, if it starts to feel a little much, then bring your knees back down towards the floor and take this pose in hands and knees. We're going to rock our weight over into our left foot, but can you maintain that even quality of the pose, that aligned quality of the pose? And can you maintain the aligned quality of the pose, so not rocking too far over to the left, as you slowly glide that right leg up behind you into warrior three. Now we're going to change this pose up a little. <laughs> we're going to bend that right knee, and then we're going to press it up and over, so that we're almost stacking it on top of the left hip, moving it in that direction. Yeah, and you might want to bring your gaze out into your right arm, Let's stay here for another breath. Let's stay here for one more. And then bringing that foot back down to the floor. But before we come to the other side, we're going to lower our knees down to the ground. We're going to press back into child's pose. And then your child's pose, reconnecting to your breath, noticing. Our intention was set to remain within this breath, to be present. And that is that Ujjayi breath. Inhale through the nose with the little restriction at the base of the throat. And the exhale through the nose with the little restriction at the base of the throat. Inhale through the nose, restriction at the base of the throat. Exhale through the nose, that little sound of the ocean. One more time. Noticing your breath. Wonderful. And then let's inhale again, come to hands and knees. And exhale back to downward facing dog. Remember, hands and knees, if that works better for you. We're going to rock our weight over into that right foot. But again, can you rock your weight over into that right foot, but maintain um, an even alignment through the body so that you're not rocking your whole body over here. You're just feeling a bit more pressure into that right foot. And once you have that pressure really grounded down into that right foot, what is it to float that left leg up behind you? You have to find those lovely long lines of your body as you float that leg to keep that pressure down into the hands nice and strong. And then we're going to see if we can stack that left knee up towards the right hip. Yeah? And maybe you can bring your gaze down under your left arm. Still keeping that weight nice and even into your palms. Still breathing that nice, long, fluid breath. And then bringing that foot back down to the floor. But this time we're going to creep our feet forward so that we come to forward fold at the front of our mats. And really waterfall the body down in that forward fold. Let your head soften and release. Now let that stretch occur between your shoulder blades. Can you feel that lengthening of your spine? And be aware of where the weight of your body is resting. Can we bring it evenly through the feet? Because it may be that for you, you want to rock your weight forwards into your toes or maybe back into your heels, but we're going to bring it evenly pressing. Now, as you inhale, 
you can keep your hands down on the floor, but it might be a little more accessible to slide them up onto your shins and extend out long. Maybe for you, a little more accessible to have them up on your thighs. We're staying here for a few breaths. And now halfway lift, and we're noticing that our toes are gripping. Now that we can rock our weight forwards into our toes and then bring it evenly into the feet so that your heels are deeply connected to the floor as well. That's it. Let's exhale and come back down into forward fold those knees soft. Inhale, rise up to awkward chair. Lift those hands as though you're holding something precious and fragile between them. You want to hold it firmly, but you don't want to burst that bubble. Yeah, sit down into your feet a little more, nice and even like that's it. Now from here, we're going to take a little rocking motion as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to rock our weight over into our left foot. We're going to come up onto the right tiptoes. We're going to draw hands down into prayer in front of our heart space. From there, lift that right foot. That's it. Squeeze that right knee a little closer to you. Can you bring that right ankle on top of that left thigh? That left foot still pressing evenly down into the floor. Maybe you can sit a little deeper in this pose. Do what works for you. Stay connected to that breath. Let's glide that right foot back down to the floor, come to stand. With your next inhale, reach your hands towards the ceiling, lift your gaze. And exhale, swan dive forwards into forward fold. Inhale, rise up to halfway lift. Exhale, back down into forward fold, deeply connected with that breath. Inhale, rise up to awkward chair. Rock your weight over into the right foot. Come up onto your left tiptoes. Arms are reaching, but the shoulders are softening down. And then draw your hands down into prayer in front of your heart space. Float that left leg. If you can, squeeze that left knee a little closer to you. If you can, right? Just if you can, because you'll find the way you are. It's all good. Maybe you can pop that left ankle on top of your right thigh and sink a little deeper. All just maybes, exploring your body. What feels okay, what doesn't? Are you pressing into pain? If you are, come away from it. Is it a challenge? That's all good. Sometimes a challenge is fun. <laughs> Sometimes a challenge is good fun. Rising back up to stand, hands come down beside you. Take a few breaths here into that. Feet sit bone distance apart, grounding down into your big toe, your little toe, the toes in between, your heels evenly across your feet. Soften those shoulders. Pitch your shoulder blades a little closer towards each other, just a little. Notice where your head is sitting on top of the structure, rising up away from your crown as though you're being pulled, ever so lightly by me, <laughs> by a little silver string on top of your head. <sighs> that breath feels good. Let a little smile play across your lips. Maybe it's a big smile. <laughs> now from here, I want you to move through to some salutes. I will give you a modification first. If you know the salutes that we're moving through as down dog to lunge, then you can take that one straight away. You don't have to come through the modification that I'm going to offer. If the modification works better for you than the down dog salutes, then you take it the whole time. Inhale, sweep those hands towards the ceiling, lift your gaze. Exhale, swan dive forwards into forward fold. 
Inhale, left knee steps back into hands and knees, in down dog or lunge, sorry. Right knee steps back into down dog or hands and knees. Inhale, left foot steps forwards into low lunge. Exhale, right foot steps forwards into downward, into forward fold. Inhale, up into halfway lift. Exhale down into forward fold. We are all about our breath, whatever you need to connect with it. Inhale, come up to Uchiya. Exhale, rise up to stand, hands draw down. Inhale, hands towards the sky, lift your gaze. Exhale, hands come down into forward fold. Inhale, right knee steps back. Exhale, left knee steps back into hands and knees. Inhale, right foot steps forwards. Exhale, left foot steps forwards into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, awkward chair. Exhale, rise to stand. Now that's one. Inhale, hands towards the sky. If you want to keep going with those hands and knees, then do. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left foot steps back. If you want it in high lunge, go for it. Exhale, right foot steps back into downward facing dog or hands and knees. Inhale, left foot steps forwards. Exhale, right foot steps forwards into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, awkward chair. Exhale, rise to stand. Inhale, hands towards the sky, lift your gaze. Exhale, swan bow forwards into forward fold. Inhale, right foot steps back. Exhale, left foot steps back into down dog. Inhale, right foot steps forwards. Exhale, left foot steps forwards into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, awkward chair. Exhale, rise to stand. That's two. We're going to take one more. Inhale, hands towards the sky, lift your gaze. Exhale, swan bow forwards into forward fold. Inhale, left foot steps back. Exhale, right foot steps back into down dog. That's it. Inhale, right foot steps forwards. Exhale, left foot steps forwards into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, awkward chair. Exhale, rise to stand. Inhale, hands to sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right foot steps back. Exhale, left foot follows to down dog. Exhale, right foot steps forwards. Exhale, left foot steps forwards into forward fold. Stay here. Stay here for a breath. And then we're going to swan dive up to standing. So we're going to swan dive and rise up to standing, lifting our hands towards the sky. We're going to exhale our hands down into prayer in front of our heart space. Rock your weight into your left foot. Glide that right foot back into warrior pose. Right toes are pointing forward slightly. Left foot is pointing towards the front of your mat. And from the tail to the crown, you're rising up. Yeah, so maybe you can see that crease along my singlet. And that's, the, that's our spine, right? <laughs> so here is our spine lifting up from the tail. Float those hands out wide. Let's take a triple spiral here. We're going to roll our palms towards the ceiling or towards the back of the body. We're going to squeeze a little between the shoulder blades. And then from elbows to palms, we're going to press that down. Still nice and engaged across the shoulder blades. Can you feel that engagement? Lifted and strong through your belly, but not so much that you're catching your breath. You are still breathing. That's it. 
That's it. Staying here for two more. And if you're breathing really slow, you've got one more here. On the exhale, tip falls back of the left arm against the left and the thigh, right arm reaches. Let's pause here for a breath, just finding ourselves in this pose. It might be that your left arm can reach a little further down, but only if you maintain that length through your spine. No curving, no pulling, no rolling forwards. Yeah, that's it. And now we're going to, on our next inhale, rock back, straighten that left leg, press that left hand back towards the back of our body. Lift your gaze to it if you like. See where it's floating to. And then exhale back forwards again, the back of the left arm towards the left inner thigh. Right arm reaches. Lift your gaze to that one. Inhale, press back. Left palm touch, left palm reaches towards the back of the mat. Right palm touches down lightly. Lift your gaze to it if you like. Let's rock forwards again. That's it. Lifting that right arm. Let's rock back one more time. Floating back into this little reverse pose. Stretching the left hand side. And we're going to turn it into standing split. So we're going to fold our hands down beside the left foot. And when you're ready, see if you can float that right leg up behind you into standing split. Now, standing split can be a little more curled up, <laughs> or it can be starting to extend quite long through the legs and fold quite close down into your left leg. It's a pose where sometimes you hold on to that left leg. I find that press is just a little too strong through the knee joint. So be very conscious taking that. We're staying here for another full breath. Lower that right leg down on an inhale and take an exhale as you fold a little more deeply over the legs. With your next inhale, swim leg all the way back up to standing. Hands come down into prayer in front of your heart space. We're rocking our weight over into our right foot. And we're going to glide that left foot back into warrior. Yeah. <laughs> now it's a warrior two that we're starting with. So again, if this is my spine rather than it leaning forwards, I'm bringing it to rise up long from the table. I'm pressing down into the feet. My left toes are pointing forwards a little. And then let's float those arms. Float them. Yeah. Have you maintained that alignment through your body? Right? You can see that little crease is still there in my singlet, imitating my spine. That's great. <laughs> and then we're going to take our triple spiral. So roll those palms towards the ceiling, towards the back of the body if you can. Squeeze the space between your shoulder blades. And then elbows to palms back down again. Staying here for a few breaths with that nice little squeeze and that strength. And then we're going to rock forwards, bringing the back of the right arm against the inside of the right thigh. Our left arm is going to reach. If you want, you can lift your gaze to it. If it helps you with the alignment of your head more, you can bring your gaze down to the floor or straight out in front of you, wherever is best. Now your aim is not to bring those right fingers down to the floor, although you may be able to. We're seeing if we can stack that left hip towards the top of the right hip. We're stacking shoulder upon shoulder. And then we're ready for our little movement of three. <laughs> we're going to rock back, straightening that right leg. We're going to pause here for a breath, pressing that right palm towards the back of the room. <sighs> And then we're floating through. As you exhale, come forwards. Back of your right arm towards your right inner thigh. Right leg bends. Left arm reaches. Lift your gaze if you like. As you inhale, rock back. Straighten that right leg. Press your right palm towards the back of your mat. As you exhale, press forwards again. Bringing those hands as though you're rolling them around. A beautiful big wide disc. A big sunshine. As you inhale, come back again. Rocking up. Round the disc. That's it. Again, exhale, pressing forwards. And inhale, rocking back, finding that extension down through your right hand side. From here, we're going to take our standing split. So we're going to cartwheel our hands down beside that right foot. 
And then when you're really starting to float your left leg. Floating your left leg might still involve having your left toes down on the floor. It might be just the action of engaging the muscles of your body to begin to move it, right? But the balance might limit that. Your knees can be soft if you need them to be, or you might be starting to really extend and straighten. Each exhale drawing you a little deeper in your fold. And maybe each inhale being a reminder to lengthen and strengthen that leg. Bringing that left foot back down to the floor, softening force over your legs into forward fold. Let's swan dive all the way back up to standing, reaching those hands towards the sky and then bringing them down into prayer in front of your heart space. Now to bring a pose into our practice that's going to lift our energy a little and give us that joy sensation without me taking an arm balance with you um, when I can't see you, <laughs> we're going to take Garudasana. Yeah, and so we're going to take this representation of Garudasana we're going to move through it in little stages. So first, rock your weight over into your left foot. And just take a few breaths here, noticing how are your energy levels? How are you feeling? You're feeling pretty steady, or is there already a little bit of a heightened energy starting to rise because we have taken, taken an energetic flow? Yeah, and that energetic flow is quite intentional. <laughs> Now we have our weight balanced over on our left leg. Let's bring our left arm up in front of the face, palm towards the side. Sweep your right hand underneath, elbow to elbow, and then see if you can bring those right fingertips to your palm. If not, just have the back of the hands towards each other. From here, lift up that right foot. Bring it over the top of the left and maybe just touch your toe down beside your left foot, right? Or maybe bring that foot around and tuck your toes to the outside of your calf and sit a little deeper. Continue that breath. Notice the sensation of the energy in your body and see if you can start to wrap back towards the centre line. Let's unwind and come back to standing. <sighs> Give those shoulders a little roll. Now that sensation of your energy rising, take hold of that, close your eyes, lift it a little more. <sighs> can it feel a little like a laugh bubbling up? <laughs> so can it rise up through the body and find itself in a smile? As you inhale, bring that sensation, that energy down your body. Feel it move out to the very edges of your body. And as you exhale, it rises up and out of your body again in the form of a smile. As you inhale, draw the breath down. Now ready for the other side. As you exhale, it rises up and presses out in the form of a smile. As we inhale, we draw it down and that sensation of joy, of happiness spreads out to the very edges of your body. As you exhale, it rises up through the throat, out of the nose and with a smile. Let's come back to standing. We're going to come across to the other side. So now we're going to rock our weight over onto our right foot. And then we're going to bring the right hand out in front of the body, palm towards the side. And we're going to sweep the left hand underneath, elbow to elbow. Maybe you can bring fingertips to palm. Maybe it's the back of the hands that are pointing towards each other. So you're going to do a backwards clap. <laughs> yeah. 
where you might be able to lift those elbows a little further. Now we're going to step that uh, right foot up, sorry, that left foot up, and we're going to step it over the top and we're going to touch those left toes down to the other side of the right foot. Can you go a little further with this? Where is your breath? Come back to that breath. Maybe you can wrap that left foot around now and bring the toes to the outside of the right calf and start to spiral your body back to center. Maybe you can sit a little deeper. Inhaling deeply through your nose and exhaling deeply through your nose. Inhaling deeply through your nose. Exhaling deeply through your nose. Stay here for one more. Inhaling deeply through your nose. Exhaling deeply through your nose. Let's unwind. Feet back down beside each other. Sit so bone distance apart. Take a little roll of those shoulders. Close your eyes. Notice your breath. Inhaling through your nose. Feeling that energetic sensation drawing down into your body, pressing out to the very edges of your body, to all of your cells. As you exhale, that sensation rises, bubbles up, up past the throat, out through the nose, expressed in a smile. As you inhale, drawing that energy down into the body, feeling that energy is pressing out towards all of the cells. And as you exhale, feeling that energy rise up, now past the throat out of the nose, expressed in a smile on your face. Go on, do it. Smile. Smile with teeth. <laughs> now from here, we're going to do uh, that, that booty shake that I like so much, right? We're going to shake our legs. We're going to get those legs really shaking. We're going to wobble them from side to side. You know, it's always a good movement. And then we're going to shake them up and down, back and forth. We're going to see how much flesh we can get shaking around on our bones. Really going to get that flesh moving. It's hard to get those calves moving too much, right? Because our feet are down on the ground. We can get some little movements through that a little later, though. But let's be right here. Let's be present. Let's be in this breath. Can we bring that wobble up to our bellies? Now up to our butts. <laughs> Can you bring it up to your shoulders, your chest, your arms? Shake those hands around. Can you give your head a little shake? Not too much, just a little shake, right? And then it can be steady. <laughs> head shaking's not quite the go. But we're going to shake the rest of the body, really shaking those hands, shaking those knees. Can you get it all moving together? <sighs> Breathing. Can you dry your breath? A little bit longer. And then standing still. Yeah, as still as your body will stand. <laughs> your breath still moving your body. That vibration still playing around to the very edges. You feel that humming, that vibration. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to do it three times. We're going to inhale through our nose and we're going to exhale a big sighing sound, a vibration through the throat, out through our mouth. Now as you do that, if you want, you can fold forwards into that exhale. If you want, you can stay standing. Maybe place the movement on it. So when you're ready, inhale through the nose, sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> Inhale through the nose. Sigh out through the mouth. One more. Inhale through the nose. Sigh out through the mouth. What if you're like me and you're in full fold? Coming back up to standing. Hands down beside you. Close your eyes. Has that lifted your energy a little further? Surely that's enough to make you smile. We're going to come down into forward fold, however you need to get there, right? Coming down into forward fold, and from forward fold, we're coming back to hands and knees. And from hands and knees, we're going to move through a sequence of three, that little flowing practice of hands and knees, child's pose, downward facing dog. 
in time with your breath. Your breath might be a little faster than mine. You might be able to connect it with mine, whatever it is for you. So let's inhale and come into a little cow pose. Let's start on a little cow pose. Let's exhale and press back into child's pose. Now we can start this flow. We're going to inhale to hands and knees. We're going to exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale to hands and knees. That's it. Have a blanket under there if you need to. Exhale into child's pose. Inhale as hands and knees. Exhale as downward facing dog. Inhale as hands and knees. Exhale as child toes. Inhale as hands and knees. Exhale as down dog. Inhale as hands and knees. Exhale as child's pose. Inhale to hands and knees. Exhale to seated. If you went up to downward facing dog, just come back down to seated when you can. You know, when you've come through a little cycle. In our seated pose, let's have our feet down on the floor. Knees sit bone distance apart. Feet sit bone distance apart. Keep grounded. Sit bones grounded. And then rising up and away from those sit bones. Reach those hands. If that's too strong, bring them back down to your knees. Lift your left leg. Lift your right leg. Lower your left foot. Lower your right foot. Okay, or do you need to modify? Lift that right foot. Lift that left foot. Lower that right foot. Lower that left foot. Let's this time see if we can take that pose without too much movement across the sit bones. <laughs> Lift that left foot. Lift that right foot. Lower that left foot. Lower that right foot. Lift that right foot. Lift that left foot. Lower that right foot. Lower that left foot. Take a few breaths here. And then we're coming through that practice again. Yeah, so we're going to come through that little boat pose movement again. But remember that if you need to, Modify it, right? You don't have to lift your feet off the ground. We're going to start with the right foot. We're going to lift our right leg. We're going to lift our left leg. Stay here. Twist around to the left. Back to center. Twist around to the right. Back to center. Lower that right leg. Lower that left leg. Hug yourself down over the knees. We've got the other side to go. But you can modify if you want to. You don't have to do the other side if you don't want to. You won't be all lopsided. Right? No more than you were when you came into the room. So we're going to come back again. <laughs> we're going to lift our left leg. And we're going to lift our right leg. We're going to stay here. We're going to twist around to the right. And then we're going to twist around to the left. We're going to come back to centre. Lower that left leg. Lower that right leg. Hug your body down over your knees. From here, we're going to do a little spiral. So we're going to roll around to hands and knees. And then we're going to step those feet out behind us. So step your feet back behind you into plank. Now in your plank pose, it is still plank pose with your knees down on the ground. Yeah? Your knees down on the ground, further back from your hips so that you're not in hands and knees. 
But if you're taking plank pose and you're not quite ready for it, sometimes it turns into a little down dog. Stack those shoulders over your wrists, unless your wrists are tight and you need them a little further back. Nice and strong and lifted through your belly, feeling that belly button lifting nice and strong, just the belly drawing in towards the center line, a little lift your pelvic floor. And then lower all the way down to the ground. Untuck those toes. Inhale, lift your chest. Bring those hands just beside the rib cage. Bring your elbows a little. Bring your shoulders up and back. Can you move those hands away? It's just really quite a strong action for your low back. Not pressing too much through the hands. Glide those hands forwards now, palms still down on the floor, elbows underneath your shoulders. Exhale, press down through the glutes so that you're pressing down into the top of your pubic bone. And then inhale, lift and extend away from the pubic bone. Lifting, extending your belly. Staying here for a breath. War two. And then releasing back down towards the earth. Let's come up through hands and knees. Come into a seated cross legged pose. We're going to counter that back bend now. This is very gentle forward from it. So with your legs uh, crossed and seated cross legged or with your legs extended if it feels better for you. Take a little fold forwards over your legs. And in this fold forwards, noticing your breath, the way that your breath creates little movements through your spine. Make those movements a little bigger than they even need to be so that you're really floating up with your inhale and releasing back down with your exhale. So that you're really floating up with your inhale and releasing back down with your exhale. One more so that you're floating up with your inhale and releasing back down with your exhale. Coming back up upright. If you're in seated cross legged, change the cross of your legs. If you're not, no need. <laughs> but you may want to change your pose a little bit in a different pose. Again, from here, we're going to take a little fold forwards. We're going to keep that really uh, luxurious kind of floating and flowing with you. So we're folding forwards. We're inhaling and letting our body float up. Then we're exhaling and letting it soften back down. We're inhaling, letting our body float up. And exhale and soften it back down. And again. Inhale, let that body float up. Exhale, soften back down. Let's rise back up to third. Bringing your right knee out in front of your body. Step your left foot up and over the top. Sit down into your sit bones. If your sit bones don't feel like they can connect with the floor at all, right? Your left sit bones lifting right up and towards the sky. Then can you straighten that right leg down long? Keep drawing your toes down, back towards you, but the left foot steps up and over the top. That's it, that's your modification. From here, we're finding the floor underneath us. Again, can I get that crease to sit in my uh, singlet? Our spine is rising up. It's okay if you need to lean back a little, right? If that's what your hips need. But let's try not to curve that spine over towards the side in our twist. We're going to keep it lengthening. We're going to bring that right elbow across towards the left knee. Can you bring your left hand beside or behind you? Open across your chest. Lift up through the sit bones. And then notice your breath as you twist around. Gazing towards your left shoulder. The inhale again softens you out of this pose again because we're enjoying the fluid motion. And the exhale squeezes us. The inhale softens us out of this pose. The exhale squeezes us. 
is stay here and live twice now. Unwind and come back to center. Now we're going to take a little fun movement. I am going to instruct you where we're going to end up once we get there, okay? So you may or may not be able to come through this movement with me. It might be way too much of a puzzle, and that's okay, because I will talk you through how we get there in the end, yeah? We're going to keep our feet where they are. Now we're going to twist away from that left knee, okay? So we turn away from that left knee. We turn all the way around towards the back of our mat and back around towards the front. And now, <laughs> we are in twists on the other side. We're going to adjust that a little. So just just a little bit of play. Yeah, so that now our left knee is out in front of the body. And our right foot is stepping over the top. If you need it to, that left knee is extended out long. So I'll talk you through that again, just this bit. So our left leg is either extended out long, or our left knee is out towards the front of the body. Right foot steps over the top this time. Again, we're finding that length of our spine rather than a folding over to the side. We're going to bring our left elbow across, maybe rest it on the knee. Maybe you need to rest that left hand on the knee because you can't get the elbow across there or foot. We're going to bring the other hand beside or behind us. We're going to open across the chest, lift up through the sit bones. Exhale, take a little squeeze around. Moving with our breath still though. Yeah, we're going to inhale and we're going to slope back out of that twist just lightly. We're going to exhale and squeeze a little more deeply just because we're enjoying the fluid nature of our breath. We're going to inhale, rock back and out. We're going to exhale, squeeze again into this twist. Let's take it one more time. We're going to inhale, we're going to float out of this pose a little. And then we're going to exhale and squeeze back into it, gazing towards the right shoulder. Staying in this twist for a few breaths. And then unwinding and coming back to centre. Now, I said we were going to do a little release of our calves, and we're going to do that here. So bring your hands down beside you, behind you to support you. We're going to take a little pounding of our calves down on the floor and keep your feet nice and soft. Yes, and giving our feet, our calves, a little pound down on the floor. Feet nice and soft so that they're taking a little wobble around as well as this movement because they missed out on that movement that's shaking. <sighs> And then we move into stillness. We are preparing now for Shavasana. So, can you either put a blanket down underneath you or have a blanket beside you to pull over you? Just if you've got one, don't run up and get one now. Um, now, if you have low back pain or if you want the extra support, Pop a blanket or a cushion under the back of your knees. Feels really good. We're going to roll over onto our sides and then can you roll over onto your back? Yeah, so you're lying on your back now. Arms resting down beside you. Just adjust your shoulders so that if your shoulders are dinner plates, they're resting flat down on the floor rather than the edges sticking in. And so that you have space across your chest. A little light tuck of your chin. Close your eyes. It can feel really good to lift your hips up and place them a little further away. If it feels okay, palms towards the ceiling. Noticing the rhythm of your breath. Don't change it, just notice. Maybe you're still taking the Ujjayi breath. Maybe your breath has returned to its own natural rhythm. Just let it be. And as you breathe, breathing through your nose, noticing that as you inhale, your breath touches the end of your nose and it's a little chill. And as you exhale, your body has warmed the breath the temperature of your body and it feels a little different. Let your mouth soften. 
so that your jaw is soft and relaxed, so that your tongue is relaxed in your mouth. Soften the muscles around your eyes. So that your eyes feel soft, relaxed in your sockets, maybe a little heavy. Soften the muscles across your forehead, your temples, your cheeks. Release and relax all of the muscles of your face and soften and release the muscles of your scalp and feel your scalp drawn down towards the earth. Release and relax the muscles of your throat and neck. Releasing and relaxing across your shoulders. Let go. Soften. Release and relax the muscles down your arms towards your fingers, your thumbs, your palms. And then that release, that relaxation rolls back up again to your armpits. And down along your ribs, your waist, your hips. All the way down your legs to your toes and your feet and back up again as you soften your ankles, your calves, your knees, your thighs, your pelvis. That relaxation flows up your back as you soften the muscles along your spine, as you soften between your shoulder blades and again across your shoulders and your chest. Releasing and relaxing now the muscles at the very centre the very center of your physical body, the belly. Let go. Feel the way that your breath moves your body, the way that your body moves your breath. And this breath, noticing this breath. Softening even your attention. Softening the senses. Still aware of your physical connection to the earth and releasing down into that physical connection. Knowing that you are a child of nature, there is joy in that. So release into it, let go. Let go, relax. Surrender to Shavasana. And can you feel that sensation of joy? Can you feel it in your body? Can you create it? Can you generate that warm feeling that feels like a laugh bubbling up, that touches your face in a smile? And where do you feel that energy? Is it in your throat? Is it in your heart space? Is it in your solar plexus? Is it across your face? Where is it? Hold on to that sensation. Breathe it into your body and slowly roll over onto your side. And from your side, press yourself up to see that. <sighs> smile. Really smile. From here, we're going to take a deep inhale and then we're going to take one arm together. If all is just beyond you today, then you can take a big audible sigh out through the mouth. Sometimes that um, it's a little more accessible and feels really good. But when you're ready, join me. Oh. Ah. 
how wonderful to practice with you today. What a wonderful day. Namaste.